Hello fan, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. My name is Justice and this is Mr. J Graphics you are watching right now. On today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through, um, I'm going to design a church banner. So without much further ado, let's jump right into the video. If you're new here, please do me a favor and subscribe. Click on the notification bell let's jump right into the video so on this tutorial um you know i'm kind of a little bit tired so you can feel within my voice so i'm sorry forgive me about that <clears throat> okay so let's go ahead and create my size so i'm gonna use the size um okay so I'm going to use this size. Okay. Now, um, let me check. Um, let me check. Um, let me check. Uh, okay. So I'm going to use 96. Music licensing reimagined. The height will be 96. And then, um, the width will be 84. And I'm going to reduce the resolution because it's a banner size. So, I want to reduce my 272 resolution. And here we go. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my background. Okay. When you get... When you create this, this is the original background. You can decide to go with this background, whatever design you, um, background you want. But for me, I want to create my background. So what I'm going to do is, I'll go directly to rectangle. Either to use this rectangle or come to this um adjustment icon right here you click on it and you click solid color okay so now i'm going to use i'm going to play along this areas and then choose the color that i want for my work right now no so i'm going to use this background kind of uh something like this this is okay so I'm going to lock it okay so now what i'm going to do is um i'm going to i'm going to use this picture as well and then this picture as well okay so this picture will go to, to the background i'm going to scale it like this I'm going to position it right here. So after this, I'm going to brush up this, um, the edge, you know. So I don't want the edge to be sharp. So I'm going to brush it. Now, before you can do that, I will create a layer mask. Okay. I normally create a layer mask because if there is, um, in case there is a mistake on the picture, I can delete the layer mask and I'll get the original picture back. All right. I'll get the default size because I created the layer mask. Um, so. I'm going to increase my brush. If you want to use a for if you want to clear, you know, some areas of any subject, any picture, anything on Photoshop, what you have to do is make sure your foreground color is black. And then Music you brush up.
okay so something like this is okay for me now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the blend mode to So I think soft light is okay for me and I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit. Music licensing reimagined. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um I'm going to create noise on the background so what i'll do is i'll go to filter when you go to filter you come to noise so i'll click on noise add noise Artlist .io. before you work on this you need to rasterize it so they're asking me if i want to if the layer the fill for this layer must be rasterized or converted to a smart object before proceeding so i'll go ahead If you can see the background you see look at the difference right i don't know if you can see the difference okay so whatever you see here is what showing up here look at the preview right so this is what i actually want and now i'm going to lock it okay so now i'm going to i'll go for the the logo I'm going for the logo so where is it the logo the logo okay so the logo will be somewhere here Okay, so this is the logo. I'm going to take off the background. I want to take the white background off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, I'm going to use I'm going to use magic eraser. Magic eraser just click and then it's gone something like this right so i'll go for my move tool and then move this to here i'm going to increase the size like that so after doing this I'm going to create, I will go for Eclipse tool, that is a circle, and I'm going to hold my shift key and draw a circle like this, and I'm going to shift it right here. Let me divide my, I want to divide the page. So if I want to do that, what I'll go is um, I'll go to view, new guide, and I'm going to type 50% and I press OK. So now I have divide into two, right? Okay, so I'm going to change, I'm going to use a gradient color. Come to this FX. When you click on the FX, go for gradient overlay when you go for gradient overlay i'm going to use kind of a gold so i'm going to type this the i'm going to type a code color f b a 3 1 f okay so i'm going to use this color right there 
right? And here too, I'm going to type a code F F F F five. Music licensing reimagined. Um. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this, hold your control and then press J. And I'm going to increase, I'm going to increase this a little bit like that. Now click here, when you click here, you close the field and select the stroke. Now I'm going to increase the stroke size. Mm, it's too much. Okay, I think this is okay. And now what I'm going to do is um I placed IO. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to I'm gonna bring in uh, bring in my wrap repeat paper and I'm going to click click on the line and right click and then press this dot then move this and move this as well I placed IO. okay then bring it right here Gonna position it right here. Okay, so right from here, um, I don't need this anymore, so I will close it. And this one too, I'm gonna close it. Let me save it before anything happens. So, whenever you are doing design, you have to make sure you save the work because. Photoshop can close, can automatically automatically shut down. All right, so um, Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this picture inside here. So I'm going to right click, create clipping mask. All right, now I'm going to use um, gradient color for this, you know, so I'm going to use this color. And now I cannot see the picture inside because of the gradient that I created. So I'm going to right click and then rasterize layer style. Now I'm going to change the select on the picture and then change the blending mode to something very okay, something like this. Okay, something like this, I think it's okay. 
now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change i'm going to duplicate i should have duplicated before moving to this process so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to duplicate the rapid and then create my gradient and then rasterize it and then change the color to hard light now i'm going to increase the size something like that okay so now what i'm going to do is let me reduce the picture a little bit music license um let me let me create this and position it right here okay so now what i'm going to do is um i'm going to i have to close this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring a picture right a picture that i use so i'm going to use man of god um it's Udanaba. um this design is not okay so i'm going to i'm going to I'm going to position the picture right here increase it a little bit music licensing reimagined so I'm going to lock them so that it will not distract me now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write this um the, these details i'm going to use this font square oh my gracious my gracious the app is closing photoshop is closing oh geez oh my goodness the app is closing automatically. Jeez, 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 jeez. Jeez, Photoshop is closing. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Photoshop is closing automatically. Oh, come on, man. Come on. It has freeze, you know. The app is freezing. The app is freeze. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm really sorry about that, but it seems the app the app is freeze. Oh my my.
the app is free so let me go back and open it again let me launch it again okay um you see that is what i keep telling you that whenever you start designing make sure you you save the work before you even start the project make sure you start make sure you 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 save the work all right make sure you save the work i save it so i'm going to see if i will get um i'll get a backup because i save it i save it before i started so i'm going to see if i'm going to get a backup okay so let's see let me see let me see let me see whether i get a backup where is w w okay so here it is so i'm going to check whether oh come on you see this is what i get you know so this i keep telling you that whenever you design whenever you start to design make sure you um make sure you save the work before you begin to start the work all right so i have to go I have to do this again because uh, my Photoshop freezed. So what I'm going to do is uh, so I'm going to create my gradient. Music licensing reimagined. Um, so after creating my gradient, I'm going to rasterize it. Then I'm going to bring in my picture. So where is the picture? Uh oh, it's not here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll go back to, I'll go to file, open, and um, I'll come to resource. Okay, so this is the picture. So I'm going to use this picture right here. I'm going to increase the picture. Rotate it a little bit. And then right click create clipping mask so here we go now i'm going to change the blend mode to soft light this is soft light okay um okay hard hard light is okay now i'm going to create layer mask um sorry i'm going to cre create layer this is layer i'm going to push it inside okay because so this layer is inside of this um report shape all right so i want this to be on top so to be on top so i'll go for i'll click on my foreground color and i'll change so i'm going to use my brush to i'll press letter b on my keyboard i'm going to click here to then i'm going to change this to something like that and i'll click here so i'm going to change the blend mode to either soft light or anything uh, something that uh, is kind of
Um, is this okay? Okay, so this is okay for me. Let me press Control S to save it. Okay, now I'll go for my picture. So the picture that I was using. Um, let me try to use Man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. Let me try to use his picture okay i'm going to use um this picture right here So I'm going to use Papa Eastwood picture for this design. So I'm going to increase it like that. So bring it down here. Something like this. So right from here, I'm going to type the details. So I'm going to type the details. So I'll go for my type to and i'm going to type Music licensing, let me change the color to i'll go for my so i'm going to type power power giants Embassy. I'm going to use this font. Position it right here. Dominion Dominion Temple. So I'm going to change this this one to bold. I'm going to increase the size. So just I'll put the pointer here and then increase the size like this. I'm going to close the the space all right so you see this double ace here put the pointer on it when you put a pointer then um, you scroll you drag the pointer you click on your mouse button your mouse um, all right you, you click on your mouse I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Don't mind me. I'm kind of a little bit tired, but still, I said I have to do this tutorial. So, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the the details so i'm 
I'm going to write music licensing the imagine worship worship with us okay so I'm going to position this right here worship with us and I'm going to write um, Sunday Sundays um, is it Sunday or Sunday okay so Sunday now I'm going to change to bold like that now I'm going to use this same color right here the gold color so I'm going to what you have to do is you have already create the color okay if you watch the beginning how the how I was able to type the code to get the gold color so if you just follow that process you will get the same color right here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on the gradient color just right click okay when you right click on the effect then you copy layer style just click on copy layer style now i'll come back here i'll select the sunday and I will come here and right click and then I'll say I'll click on paste layer style so this is what I'm actually going to get all right so now I'll go for my rectangle tool I'm going to draw rectangle like this here and I'm going to position it right here now I'm going to create um, a gradient color for this one too so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'll go to fx you can come you can click on fx or double click here this layer style um properties will appear okay once it appear click on gradient this is not what i want so i'll change it if you want to change it just click on this on the color box here click on it gradient editor so the edit editor pop um, um, box will pop up I'm gonna click on this one if you can see when if you see a black inside you see there's a black on top the arrow so when you see a, a black that means it has been selected so I'll change the code. So I'm going to use a code color. Um, the code color should be 00002A1E. Okay, so this is the code I'm going to use. And I'm going to change this one to, and I'm going to click color. And I'm going to change the, this one is 00B291. Okay, so this is another color that I want. So after that, you press OK. Now, this one is the time. So I'm going to write the time right here. So I'm going to duplicate this. Hold your Alt key and then click and drag. This one should be on top. So I'll drag this one down. And I'm going to type the time. So the time is... Let me check the time. The time, the time. Um, the time is eight o'clock a.m. So eight o'clock a.m. To 11 o'clock a.m. All right, so this is the time. 
Now I'm going to position it right here. And I'm going to change the size to bold like this. Here we go. Now I'm going to decrease this um, one a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to duplicate highlight all of these and then uh, hold my alt key and then drag this one right here okay so this is how it's going to be like and this one is going to be Friday Friday And now this the time here will be the time here will be six six o'clock p.m. to two o'clock p.m. to what eight eight thirty p.m. Eight thirty PM very nicely. Music licensing reimagined. So what I'm going to do is uh I'm going to duplicate this and bring it right here. I'm gonna write Friday. This one is just kind of a design that I'm doing. It's not anything, right? So um, after I'm done, I will go to costume shapes. And I'm going to use this arrow right here. Right click, paste. I'm going to duplicate, hold Alt key, click and drag. This one will be here. Now I'm going to I'm going to type the venom. So the venom will be the venom. The Ven will be a report junction. And she I hear to I hear here to alignment. Okay, so now let me increase this a little bit like that. So this is this is going to be the now what I'm going to do again is uh What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Papa's name. So I'm just going to bring this name right here. Music licensing reimagined. So here we go. A very simple work like this. This is very simple work. All right.
this is very simple so guys this is where i'm going to end this tutorial um please if you're new here leave a comment um let me give out big shout outs to every single new subscriber out there i welcome you all to join the family thank you so much to be part of this family we do a little we, we learn so much and we share ideas together as well so whatever that you you see in this video and um you are kind of confused you can leave a comment and i'm going to draw your attention to that my name is justice and um never give up okay some people are saying i want to create something simple like this i don't know how to do it never give up keep practice and you will surely come out one day with something simple like this so guys i'm going to see you all in my next tutorial have a blessed time bye bye